Our client is Isabella, and um, I've had the pleasure of knowing her throughout my whole life. She's a childhood friend of mine, and was so happy that she came to us to work on her first space. I love the layout. She chose it because of all the natural light that she gets, which is really wonderful. There's some industrial or concrete hard elements, but it does have a lot of softness to it. Isabella really is a feminine gal, but she's got a little bit of an edge to her. Sophisticated, but very clean lined. So we wanted to achieve a timeless look that was also super current. There was a lot of discussion about how we could transform things without doing anything structural, so naturally applied moldings was the best decision. Since this was her first investment, she did want to bring a little bit more of herself into it. She does have Italian heritage. When we talked about what part of Italy really spoke to her, we talked a lot about the mid-century Italian design. And so we wanted it to be really clean lines and sculptural, but also adding some more Victorian style details like the applied molding and like an old portrait photo on the wall type of thing. We didn't change the footprint of the kitchen. It was functional, yet it didn't really maximize the amount of light that was in the space. So the dark cabinetry just had to go. I mean, we like dark cabinetry, but you could just tell immediately that it was just not working with what we were trying to get mm -hmm. to. So we refaced them. We obviously considered doing a white kitchen, but we did want to do something a little bit different. So we went with a nice light gray that added a little bit of color, but subtle. And then we actually ended up keeping the current countertop. It was functioning fine. And because we were on a budget, we were not willing to waste money. Isabella had great taste already, but hadn't really had an opportunity to really expand that anywhere in her condo. She had an amazing marble island already, so we were able to further that in the design of the kitchen. So we opted to do a quartz backsplash that has a really great marble appearance. Obviously, marble ties into the Italian theme, and we just felt it was a little bit more luxury than doing a tile with some grip. There's a lot of hard edges in this space. So in order to soften it, we use some globe lights, which was really nice. We talked a lot about like Italian restaurants, what elements they had that really spoke to her. And that was one piece was the lighting. Sarah Baba is a well-known artist. She does really cool, interesting photography, feminine, sexy, sophisticated. <laughs> and so and we, a little Italian. And a little Italiano. So we had that to work with as well as a brass frame that had some mid-century shapes going on. We wanted to soften that up with sleek monochromatic bedding paired with a really luxe green rug that who wouldn't want to wake up to that every morning? No matter what scale of space we're working with, we always have the same challenges. It's so funny, like you're always looking for a consistent flow, you're always looking to marry the spaces. She's really happy with the result and actually it was perfect timing wise. She was celebrating her birthday, we had just done the renovation, she had her friends over to celebrate, so it was a really great ending to the chapter. <laughs>